uh, Frank Miller sends his, sells an NFT. I don't know who that is or what the NFT is. It's a comic book series. And he sold it for six figures, winning bid sitting at $840,986.16 USD paid in Gala coin. Damn, sell that immediately. <laughs> <laughs> no, Put man, that into I, anything I else, bro. Put that in the sheep real quick. The, <laughs> the award-winning comic book artist Frank Miller set an NFT record this week having created a one piece animated with sound inspired by his fan favorite Sin City. So this is a piece that has lore before the NFT that is inspired by an old movie that he sold for just under $200,000, under a million dollars. THR, I don't know who THR is, knows that the Sin City NFT is now the most expensive piece of art ever sold by Miller, but claims his iconic the Dark Knight Returns cover is valued in the $1.3 million to $1.6 million range, though it is not currently for sale. What I was kind of getting into before with creator owning their funding via fans, kind of the same vein as this, where if you have something that's valuable in pop culture, you can pass that value around to, to uber fans of that. So I'm trying to explain to neighbor Jeff, but he just doesn't get it. I'm just what like, is, I heard a neighbor Jeff in a minute. What's he at to? He just, every once in a while, he's like, John, I just don't, like, I understand it, but I just don't get it. Like, what's the point? Like, what's the, like, look, like, well, how is it any different than taking a screenshot? How is it any different than that? Blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, dude, I'm just it. like, bro, like, 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 digital social currency matters, my friend. Like, it is that too. People, that's definitely like, a part of it half not half of it but a part of it is just going to be this is cool and i own this and that is it's, it's social currency yeah and that dude, can, that like, can well, be valuable what's the as, point dude it's not even real i'm like bro well, there are parties in la that won't even let you in if you have less than ten thousand followers on instagram that's yeah. not real but it yeah. kind of is you know yeah supreme like, and all that yeah like but now you can you, track things you can track it yeah dude, I don't <laughs> on know. the internet it's just you could just like you can track conversions in 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 facebook and google where you couldn't do that before with billboards great analogy great mm -hmm. shout out the hours of reading i do that made my mind make this synapse burst uh before you can track people with billboards bang you have you have billboards uh, via images now that you can track and when when things are are valuable of pop culture like something like the Dark Knight is, instead of perhaps one person owning the physical version of that, hanging it on their wall, you could say you now own a piece of this digitally uh, that is unique and nobody else can have, and that's provably unique with cryptography, that's cryptography, which people have been using. If Pokemon issues a Pokemon card NFT, they can literally just be like, yo. Does Pokemon have anything out, man? Oh, I'm sure they're working See, that's See, that's also a great... A great uh, analogy for people who don't get it right away be like See, well I trading cards are crazy and don't really exist and they have no value baseball cards all these things that gary v loves uh you just you have it and you have okay this is the unique one Instead i brought that up to i brought that up to it. jeff dude he was yeah. like dude like and he was like yeah but you know it's different because i can take the card to like a shop and they can like identify the grade make sure it's real make sure all this it's, other bullshit so and like, like dude you can does. literally do that way easier with blockchain yeah. yeah it's the same thing it's just on the computer and i heard this analogy from gary v he said you take a picture people saying i could just take a picture of a picture so you take a picture of the mona lisa you don't actually own the mona lisa 